four feet tall. Three minutes. Three minutes. This is a section of the agenda where you can prearrange. You have to let us know a few days in advance that you want to speak about something that's not on the agenda. You have a few minutes to give your your input to the board. Okay, my name is Sonny Thomas, and I uh, just wanted to uh, follow up with Mr. Regano's um, um, request about the uh, feedback from the Institute on the Constitution classes. Um, we thought that the program itself was very well laid out, um, especially focusing on original intent, looking at not only the content of the original writings as it was written, but also taking the context of time period, the uh, the moods, the political climate, and the things of the, of the actual era. Um, I thought the class had a lot of elements that could be looked into for serious incorporation into future uh, government and uh, world government classes featuring the United States here at Springboro. Um, by taking from the original source documents, you can appreciate what it is because if you don't take it from the original documents as written and not look at it through a filter of history such as we're looking at it now, it's like trying to appreciate the Beatles with not looking at 50s rock and roll. You can't see how one led to the other. Or Ronald Reagan, you can't appreciate his presidency unless you've looked at his governorship, his uh, time as a SAG president, and also his acting career. You can't appreciate what made the man. So definitely the original content needs to be looked into, um, the original intent, all the uh, papers and everything else, so you really understand what it is. So as far as that, I would definitely say that uh, you should look into that uh, course um, in the future. Lastly, just that person as a taxpayer uh, for future sp uh, school board candidates, I just feel, generally speaking, it may be considered a conflict of interest if um, the person is either currently or has been on the school payroll within the last five years or has a spouse that's on the payroll or is a union member because of the fact that they can't clearly see um, for what it is without having a slight bias. I think people up here just like now, they're just from the public sector and you know, private sector, that basically they should be the ones to sit on the board because of the fact that they can see things uh, with an, a, an un unbiased approach. So that's just my opinion, but I just thought I'd mention that. So thank you for your time today. Thank you. Thank you.